force energy in, into things? Yeah, I mean, you saw how flat we were early, especially in the first quarter. I think they made their first 11 shots or so, and then, you know, that's the only quarter we really lost us was the first 35 to 15, and no juice, no carryover, momentum from yesterday, and um, so look for a group that could get after it, mix it up. Um, you know, sometimes you want to interject some energy into them by you know, scheming it up a little bit for us to be more aggressive, and uh, that helped. Okay, cool. um, was Alpi supposed to miss the second free throw? Yes. Um, and you mentioned just the, the group playing greater energy. <laughs> there were some timeouts where it looked like you tried to kickstart something, what, especially the one after the wide open Finney Smith three. Oh. Um, what were you trying to express, or was it different from other timeouts and other situations? Yeah, I probably got madder than other times, but, um, you know. Just lack of communication leading to wide open baskets, and that was just carryover from the first quarter. And so my message to the starters was: come prepared, you know, come have some carryover from yesterday, what you did so well. And then to the second unit was: when you come in the game, be prepared, have a feel for how the game is going. Um, you know, Cam Thomas gets it going a little bit early, and the guys come in off the bench not ready to guard him. And so, um, yeah, that's a little bit of that, and then not communicating and uh, giving up wide open shots in transition. Just a bad night for us to have our worst overall effort and, and focus game from from the whole team in general. Usually you have a guy or two that kind of can stem the tide a little bit and give us a spark, and we didn't have that tonight. So I try to do a little bit myself. But, um, you know, you, you think you have momentum based on the second half from last night in Charlotte and came out very flat tonight. So got to do a better job of getting our guys ready to play and understanding what the NBA is about and back-to-backs and focus and playing through fatigue. Can this be beneficial then, with that in mind, to lessen what can go wrong and then how it can be when you do it right? Yeah, definitely. And that's what I said. We played a quarter and a half of basketball. Um, you know, for down 28, 20 at halftime, got ourselves back in. It had several chances, even laid down five, uh, where we turned it over or took some tough shots after sharing the ball and then obviously missing the free throw late, a uh, chance to go, you know, tie it up late. So, you know, that's the lesson there is that we – bring that same energy, that same juice to the game. I mean, we're in great shape. And you kind of saw it last night even. The OK, first half, we were up two. And then you know, dominant second half. And basically today, like I said, we played half of the third quarter and, and the fourth with the right intensity. What did you see from Cam tonight? Aggression. You know, he made a few mistakes defensively. I think all, all of our guys did, obviously, in the first half. Uh, guys were not. Um, prepared to guard some guys, specifically Cam Thomas coming out, but um, him being aggressive, you know, even then, you know, guys try to do it one-on-one -on -one at times, and I think our team got caught up in that a little bit in the, sa in the second half where, you know, you're driving to the basket, the whole crowd is around you, and, you know, you got to find guys, and so um, he gets caught up in that as well. A lot of our guys do, young guys, but in general trying to do it themselves, but he was very aggressive and, and kind of got after it and um, went with the small lineup with him and Jay Sean guarding their bigs, and they did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.